for those. So the slides, the link is up at the uh, top of our website. Uh, I actually have a link up there. So that would be a little, little bit easier than typing all that in. Okay. Um, as some of you know, in Illinois, uh, already starting to get some uh, sleet and snow uh, up in that region. We've got an upper, very uh, strong, uh, compact upper storm system that's moving south through Missouri, and uh, that will uh, pivot uh, through uh, northwest Tennessee this evening, and that's going to put uh, much of west Kentucky uh, and adjacent portions of southern Illinois in a really bad spot uh, for uh, uh, major accumulating snowfall. Um, and uh, like I said, we do have a link at the top of our um, of the website, and that link itself is at the bottom of this opening slide on the uh, on this briefing. And for some reason, it's not updating. Why is it not doing that? Bear with me here a second. I'm having tech difficulties. All right, uh, there we go. This is this pretty much uh, one slide here pretty much tells it all uh, in the uh, pink shaded areas there in Kentucky and the adjacent uh, Ohio River counties of Illinois. Uh, that is a winter storm warning. Uh, that's uh, valid until 4 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, and in that area, you know, we think a safe estimate uh, for that entire area is between three and five inches. Um, surrounding that, we have uh, in the uh, purple shading is the winter weather advisory, uh, and then in that area, we're looking for one to three inches on average. Uh, with that upper low to our south, we're going to have the potential for some uh, small-scale banding to occur where we could see some very intense snowfalls. Uh, so there are uh, some very small areas, may see you know, six inches or more, um, but it's hard to pinpoint that right now exactly where that's gonna be, but we do think that'll be within the warning area that we have now. Uh, as far as timing is concerned, most of the area is already getting wet. Uh, most of Illinois has seen some sleet and or snow at this point in time. I know there's some uh, really good snows going on up in the St. Louis area right now. Um, and that will uh, gradually uh, take over here through the uh, rest of the afternoon and, and uh, by evening most of the uh, area will uh, see snow. There may be a few, a little bit of sleet in the transition period, um, but uh, that's pretty much it as far as what we're expecting. Once that uh, low gets to our south, it's going to, you know, the band will set up and stay there for several hours this evening. Uh, so Illinois may see some uh, decrease in the uh, snowfall and maybe even see it come to an end fairly quickly this evening uh, while it will continue for a, quite a long, uh, much longer time over Kentucky, and that's why we expect the higher accumulations uh, there in, that, in the warning area. So I think I've covered the areas, the amounts, uh, general timeline, and, uh, and then this the final slide here. Um, kind of started off awfully warm. Most places are above freezing, and they will pretty much stay that way. Uh, through the uh, entire event, uh, where the snow comes down the heaviest, it'll take temperatures right down near freezing. Uh, however, where it comes down uh, uh, heavily, uh, it will uh, accumulate even on the uh, uh, more significant roadways, interstates, and all of that. Uh, especially concerned for that in West Kentucky, the, you know, especially along that uh, West Kentucky uh, Parkway, or I guess the new Interstate 69 corridor. Um, so we do, are expecting travel problems to develop, uh, especially in the warning area. Um, uh, like I stated before, potential exists for smaller bands of, of heavier snow, uh, with some locations possibly seeing six inches or more. Uh, by morning, we are going to see temperatures uh, just below freezing, uh, lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Uh, so it's not going to be a you know it's not going to be a big flash freeze type thing. Uh, once this thing's out of here, we are in March. That's one of the positives uh, for this time of year. Um, and one other issue is we will have some pretty hefty north winds. Uh, they will be gusting 15 to 25 miles per hour. So with that uh, heavy wet snow on uh, trees and maybe even some power lines, uh, the winds could potentially bring uh, some tree limbs down. So we cannot completely rule out a few power outages across the area, but those should be very isolated. Um, so anyway, that's the main main concern.
concerned uh, as we see it at this point in time. I apologize for the uh, short notice on this briefing and on the storm system in general. It really uh, took off on us in the last 24 hours. So uh, with that, I will unmute and we will see uh, and take care of any questions that you may have.